Deb Cooper with the Canine Chronicle, and I am here with Kelly Miller, Roxanne, and Sparkle, and today we're going to talk to you about the Bedlington Terrier. So Kelly, this looks like a lot of work. It is. And when do you start trimming to get a dog in this pattern? It depends on the state of their coat and where they were at when I start. Mm -hmm. um, to put a dog in a brand new pattern that hasn't been touched six weeks, whatever, it can take upwards of three hours just before we come to the dog show. Um, she actually was worked on for three hours last night and she has shown she'll be redone completely for the group this afternoon. That's not something we do often, but we decided to do that today because we're, we're gonna touch her a lot right now. Right. So we'll start over and, and once we're here and once I have it set, 45 minutes to an hour each day to get her ready for the ring. And you trim on this how much, like weekly? Um, I've gotten very good at it, so I can just trim once a week or trim at the show, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I purposely let her grow out and start the trim over because there, there are certain things I tweak here, tweak there. It, it's just to make the balance better. Okay, so tell me. Yes. What makes a Bedlington a Bedlington? Um, so I always start with, it's a whip it and drag. If you can understand the basic concept behind a whippet, you've got a base for the Bedlington. Um, the things that make a Bedlington different than a whippet are their breed specific characteristics, their head, their ear, and their front is really what is different about them. Okay. From the front, well, and I say the rib too, I should say. So about midway dog back, mm -hmm. this is still, this is a whippet with hair on it. Mm -hmm. Up here is where the difference is. They are shorter in skull, longer in jaw to start with. So um, you're measuring the length of the jaw here and the back skull here. So this length is longer than this. Some people will say they're longer in foreface than they are in back skull. Still, no matter how you measure that, this is a long-faced breed. Um, really, the longest-faced breed in the terrier group. Most of your dogs in the terrier group are going to be at least 50-50, if not shorter. Um, so you're talking about a long, long face. Um, should be clean in the back skull. Like most of your terriers, I'm not gonna say all, cause obviously you've got your am staffs and whatnot where you want some jaw power. Um, but these guys should be very narrow through the back skull. Their ear obviously is slightly different. An average of about three inches across the widest part of the ear is what you're looking for. There are dogs with very skinny ears. We call them string bean ears. Um, you really want some depth and some width in that ear. They, um, shoulder is very similar to most other dogs. You want a nicely laid back shoulder, a nice lay on of shoulder. When you are feeling the front, um, they have, and they are the only breed of anything on this planet that has this front, a reverse V, well, it's actually a V front. So you should be able to take your hand with three fingers, roughly, give or take, between the uh, front legs here, you have some depth and some fill of this front. This is not a lots of gap behind the elbow breed. You want that fill there, heart and lung room. You bring your fingers down, you feel here, you drop your fingers down, it should drop to two fingers, it should drop to one finger. So their front actually comes together in a V like this. Interesting. Okay? No other breed does that. Very specific. So their head and their front, very, very breed specific. They are also flat ribbed through here. So when you put your hands on them, you don't want a big spring of rib. You don't want a heavy dog. You want substantial enough to do their job, to chase hair, to clean out, you know, scary little spots, you know, of their vermin, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But they should be narrow through here to the point of being almost slab sided, though the standard does not actually say those words. <laughs> It is just flat rib. Okay. Again, depth, fill behind the elbow, and then a nice sound solid rear. Great. Is there anything that you would, if you had the opportunity, ask a judge to do or not to do when examining your breed? Really, the best way to go over, to feel what you need to feel as far as the shoulder, the rib, the length of loin, and into the rear, and to feel the top line, because you know it's a gentle rise over mm -hmm. the loin, et cetera is to put your hands around their body. 
If you put your fingers at the top of their shoulder blades, you can see what width you have. You can feel the flatness of the shoulder because that flatness of the shoulder through here matches the flatness that you're going to feel at the rib cage here. So you feel that, you feel that flatness, you run your hands back. You can actually drop your fingers to feel how much, how much fill you have behind the elbow at that. You run your hand along here. Your thumbs are following the top line. You feel the rise. You, feel, you can feel how long your loin is. You can feel the hip down to here. And then you go right to muscle, to feel for muscle, okay? okay? And I haven't really messed up the coat. It's go. an easy one, right? And then you'll see me do one of those, <laughs> and usually it pops right back up. Awesome. So, is there? I mean, is there anything in the standard that talks about the coat? Yes. And the texture? Yes. It's a linty coat. Okay. Um, quite literally, feels very much like what you get out of your dryer, the lint, Got it. the lint trap. It's very soft. That's what makes it so complicated to groom. Um, it's uh, and then there, there's guard coats. Through here, you'll see these little dark hairs. Uh -huh. That's the guard coat. Got it. That kind of gives it the crispness that you want to feel. Like with your lint, you like soft crisps. What's this, you know? Perfect. It's very much the same thing. Great. Yeah. Guys, there's the little lamb dog, the Bedlington Terrier. We'll see you soon.